Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to all you new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. I hope you enjoy my content here. This is my, I don't know if I said that I was doing a separate video or not, but I was going to do a separate video on my plastic surgery experience. As you may know from some of my vlogs, I did get a rhinoplasty while I was in Iran. So I'm going to be talking to you about my experience and also answering some of the commonly asked questions with rhinoplasty, just rhinoplasty, I was gonna say surgery. Just going to say why I got it done. So I got it purely for cosmetic purposes, I guess is what you could call it. I didn't have a breathing problem or a deviated septum or anything like that that people tell you. I just wanted um, this bump that was on my nose gone. So I got my surgery done in Tehran, Iran and my doctor was Dr. Behruz Farzam. He's just a very well-known doctor. Um, a lot of people who have had their surgery with him are very happy with the results and that's um, why I got my surgery with him. And for the price, which is a, a question that a lot of people get asked but not many people answer it. So I got my surgery done in Iran because obviously it was a lot cheaper than getting it done in Australia and at the time the Australian dollar was very high, it was doing well. I was able to get my rhinoplasty for roughly around $3,000. So I chose my doctor mainly through social media and I also had recommendations by family and friends who um, either had their surgery done by him or they knew of someone who had it done by Dr. Farazam and they really um, liked their results. Um, it wasn't just Dr. Farazam that I had a consultation with. I had a consultation with four other doctors I think, three or four other doctors. Unfortunately I wasn't happy with um, those other ones. But some of the doctors I we didn't see eye to eye I guess. They sort of didn't know what I wanted exactly but when I went to Dr. Farzam he um, asked me what I wanted done with my nose and he understood that I wanted it to be very natural and my main concerns were the bump and that's why I chose to go with him. I got my surgery done on the 21st of August which was a Monday. So it was a Monday afternoon night. The surgery took about three to four hours and that was including the recovery time with the pain immediately after I just had a very painful headache I guess before I knew it I was awake and I had a pounding headache that was obviously because they shaved down my bump and now it's cute so they turned it into this cute thing <laughs> so I only had a headache which they gave me pain medication for they just put it in my IV drip and I was just feeling some discomfort from not being able to breathe through my nose and it being stuffed with whatever gauze things that they had up there. I had to not eat anything because my surgery was in the afternoon slash night. I had to just fast from the morning so I have a I was told to have a really big breakfast at 9 or 10 o'clock. But prior to my operation I just had a big breakfast at 10 in the morning and I couldn't eat anything else until my surgery. I also did vlog seven days after my surgery so I will include that in this video as well and in that video you'll be able to see my swelling and I also um, give you an update on how I'm feeling. So the next day after I had my surgery I went into the doctor's clinic to get the gauze taken out. They told me I could start putting an ointment um, around my stitches um, that were just outside and you could see those and I could start washing the inside of my nose as well. So that's what I did for the next three to four days and they told me to come back after it had been seven days since my surgery to get the plaster, whatever is on top of my nose, cast plaster, whatever was keeping it from swelling a lot more. And that's when I could also um, get the little stitches here removed. Breathing was very hard, especially at night because I had to breathe through my mouth and my lips were getting really dry and I was extremely puffy in the face. So the first night I slept fine and also you obviously have to sleep on your back, you can't even sleep on your side or anything. And I also had to have my head elevated on like four pillows so I was pretty much sitting up. So it was very uncomfortable to sleep the first few nights but that was because I couldn't breathe out of my nose and I had to sleep on my back not because I was in any pain or anything. So the healing process for a rhinoplasty is anywhere between six months to a year and even then some doctors say that it, it still isn't its final shape or its final results. You can start touching your nose, you can't blow your nose, <laughs> you can't pick your nose, you have to get in there with a q-tip. I was pretty much okay after 
a week, I would say, after I took my cast off, my nose was just a little bit sensitive. I found that after my surgery, my skin got extremely dry to the point where my nose was peeling. It's still quite dry, but not as much as it was um, like about four weeks ago. I'm not sure if I said this is eight weeks post-op. My already dark circles became even darker. I still have dark circles, they're still very much there. I'm doing eye creams and eye masks and stuff to help with that. The doctor did say that I had thin skin, which meant that um, I would bruise a lot more. The good thing about having thin skin is that whatever shape the doctor gives your nose, you can see very clearly because the skin on top of the nose um, on the cartilage is thin and you can see um, all the nice cartilage that is sh um, shaped underneath. Another positive outcome of the surgery for me personally is that I'm not sure if the skin tightened. Whenever I used to do this, like lift my eyebrows up, I got lots of lines here. So whenever I used to go like this, I'm sure you can go back to my old videos and see would be <laughs> lines here, but they're not there anymore and I don't know what happened in <laughs> Um, during the surgery, maybe he stretched the skin down when he was fixing this situation on my face But I don't have lines on my forehead anymore, which is a plus in my opinion Another good thing that I really liked about my doctor's work is that once he took out the stitches I didn't have any um, marks left. It didn't leave any scars or anything So there's usually a line right across there, which is where they open it from so they make an incision here one, you can look that up probably somewhere else, um, not too good at explaining that. So they make that incision and even if I took my makeup off, you wouldn't be able to see that. Um, so I was really happy about that. Overall, I was really happy with my rhinoplasty experience. Surgery is a very personal and sometimes emotional decision to make. Make sure you do your research. Make sure you visit different doctors. Even if you think you're happy with one, still go and see other ones. Get different opinions. Make sure you tell them what you want. Don't let them make decisions for you. Because in the end, it's going to be your nose and you have to live with it. And the last thing you want to do is go in for a revision rhinoplasty. So that's it for this video. I hope that you guys found this video informative and helpful. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to watch my um, Iran holiday vlogs. They're really fun to watch if I do say so myself. Uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye! Um, hey guys, so... Um, this is the day after my surgery. I had my surgery last night. Uh, and they kept me in the hospital overnight and I'm going in to get the things in my nose out my eyes are like really swollen and bruised but I don't feel as bad as I look uh, I'm just really uncomfortable because I can't breathe through my nose and my lips are just like you know because my lips are so dry because I keep having to breathe through my uh, mouth um, I feel fine. Sorry, I can't really talk much. Um, they looked so much worse than like they felt. I'll probably get those out and breathe through my nose properly, and all will be good. I'll um, update you guys again once I've taken them out. I can't really talk right now, so yeah. How's up, you guys? Um, so this is day three of my surgery. Um, I had the surgery Monday night. I really hope you can hear me. Um, Monday night. And as you can see, my eyes have gotten a little bit better. I was like really puffy and swollen um, yesterday. Um, I also took out the stuffing in my nose, but I, I'm still talking like this because the blood is in there and it's all clotted up and it's blocking my airways from my nose. But yeah, next Monday I will be going in and getting this off. Hopefully I'll be a little bit more comfortable after that. I'm not in pain or anything. It's just um, really uncomfortable to like, you know, breathe and really like chew anything. So I've been having really um, soft foods, really soft, mushy rice, lots of juice, lots of liquids, celery juice, uh, pineapple. So far, this is it.
Oh, this is bleeding. Yeah, my cheeks are swollen right here. I'm really excited to see what my nose looks like after I take all this off. And I will see you guys whenever I can update, I guess. And I'll film if anything's changed. Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, today is Thursday. It's the third day since I've had my operation. Um, so the bruising has gone down significantly. But there's like my some bruising still in my eye. You can see that. And I can kind of talk uh, a bit better. I can eat a little bit better as well. And what else? I can breathe through my no nostrils uh, a little bit. There's, there's nothing in there. It's just the older like um, dried up blood and stuff blocking the way. Um, but they've given me like a solution to wash it with and stuff. So we're doing that and taking my antibiotics. And I'm in my back in my hospital gown because I didn't want my clothes to get uh, bloody. Because as you can tell, every now and then I can breathe like through this nostril. And then when I breathe out, the blood spurts out. That's my quick little update. I haven't done anything today either. I've just been icing my face and watching Sherlock. Um, I nearly finished with that so hopefully soon I can go outside again. Hey guys, um, so this is the uh, what day? fourth day since my surgery. Um, it's Friday the 25th of August. Yeah, um, it's Friday the 25th of August. As you can see My swelling's gone down a lot. It's a lot better. So I still can't really breathe through my nose. I've tried the cleaning it and stuff, but it's just... I have to get the cast wet. So that um, I can like really get in there. Puffy face has gone down a little bit as well. For some reason I feel like this side is a little bit more puffy than this side. I went outside today. I also went outside last night. We were just walked to a park nearby. Because I miss my dog and I wanted to see some dogs. But none of them were as cute as mine, obviously. Uh, so I went out today and I got my nails done because they were looking ratchet. So I got this color, it's really pretty. I also did my toes. Um, I'll show you that. Probably gonna go out tonight, but just like to shops nearby. So that is my little update. See you guys in the next one. Hey guys, um, I almost forgot to update today. Um, so today is Saturday. So it's been six days since my operation. I'm getting this thing off um, in two days. So two more sleeps till I get it off. I'm really excited. Bruising has gone down significantly on this eye. And there's just a little bit left here. So yeah, not much happened today. I will update again tomorrow. Another quick update. This is the sixth day since I've had my surgery. It is Sunday today. I am getting all of this taken off tomorrow afternoon. I really want to see what it looks like. In terms of bruising, this eye has gone down significantly. And this one, there's still a little bit of bruising right here. And my eyelid as well. Sorry about my eyebrows. Um, I was able to like clean up a little bit around here. That's just from bruising again. I will probably film again once I've taken everything off tomorrow. I still can't really breathe out of my nostrils except for this one. I keep opening it up with like the solution that they've given me to clean it with, but it closes back up. Yeah, I'll just have to keep cleaning it and putting all the ointments and stuff that they've given me. Oh, and the blood inside my eyes. I will see you guys tomorrow after all this is off. Hey, what's up you guys? Um, I'll clean it. <laughs> we have reunited. Get away from me. Uh, I said I was going to update when I took it off, but I didn't. Um, here, there's like a rash or something because I scratched it so much. 
from like underneath. I kept scratching it like this because it was really itchy. He's left that to like air out and I'm applying um, some cream that he, they gave me. Uh, my bruising is still there, just like right here. Um, I was wearing makeup before, that's why I just kept my eye makeup on. Uh, my skin's really, really dry, so I'm just trying to moisturize it as much as possible.